All right, let's go ahead and try to sketch an energy uh, wave function. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, um, so here's energy uh, times x, all right. Um, here is going to be my potential. Oops. There we go. All right, so this is V of X. Great. And our energy is going to be um, the, uh, the, let's do the fifth energy. So we'll do E5 and it'll be right there. Okay, um, so this is the whole idea. And let's see how, how, how well I can do this. All right, so this is x, this is psi of x. Again, remember our rules. I didn't put them up here. Hopefully you have them written down somewhere. Um, uh, there need, first, we know we need to go to zero as we go to infinity. Um, we also know that we're gonna get wavy things between these two lines. I should have drawn my lines in black. Let's draw my lines in, I'll do them blue. This is where it's crossing. So this is a classical turning point here. This is the classical turning point here. We're going to have waves inside of here. We're going to have exponents over here. We're going to have, so here, E minus V is small. Um, uh, e minus V is small. So we're going to have larger weight, larger wavelengths, and larger amplitude. Here we're gonna have smaller wavelength and smaller amplitude. And then we know that the number of bumps, it looks like dumps, let's not do that. Bumps, great, is going to be five. Okay, I think that should get us everything. Let's see what we can do. It's always easy to write all those things down. It's always harder to actually do it. All right. Um, I'm going to try to plot this out a little bit better. So we're going to do, these are going to have small amplitude one, two, three, four, five, and they should be bigger, larger amplitude. Okay. So let's try this. Oops. Not a good start. Okay. So we're going to go there. And then we're gonna go there. It's gonna get bigger. And it should have larger wavelength. I didn't start that out well. Let's start over again. I want a smaller wavelength starting out. Let's do that. There we go. Yes. Exponential tails down on this side exponential tail down on this side. How many bumps do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Good, smaller wavelength on the left, larger wavelength on the right, larger amplitude on the white, smaller amplitude on the left. Perfect, boom. All right, that's how you do it. Um, there isn't much more to it. It takes a little bit of time and you have to do a bit of erasing. But other than that, you should be good. All right, hope that helps out. Um, we're gonna be sketching a lot of them in class.